Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. And oh boy, I'm kind of excited about this one because I uh, I won a ShopGoodwill.com vintage toy auction. And it's of uh, unopened vintage 90s toys. Uh, I'm really excited about it, so let's take a look. So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit and I take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. Yeah, so another toy lot. I gotta, this will be my last spending for a while of, you know, trying to win big lots uh, of toys and stuff, vintage toys. Uh, if you're doing it strictly for reselling, you could, you know, I feel this lot, uh, compared to how much I paid, I think I could probably double my money pretty easily uh, there's one figure in here that I think pays for the entire lot and maybe puts me in a little bit of profit considering the condition uh, if everything is the way that I anticipate so we'll have to see so it was shopgoodwill.com uh, we'll take a look at the package uh, the way they package it and everything so let's take a look all right so here it is uh, for the money I paid for this auction uh, they better have done a good job and it looks like they did I messaged them and I said hey uh, please pack this very carefully this these figures are worth a lot uh, and especially I said pack in the center please put figure a B and C in the middle of the box to, to better protect it because those are worth a lot more than the other ones so let's see how they did without revealing the toys just yet I mean revealing what they are exactly. Shopgoodwill.com. So, so far, so good. It looks like they did a good job. So, these are all vintage figures. I think there's about 10. So, they're individually wrapped, which is nice. So, I'm going to have to pull all these out now and then get them ready to show it to you guys. So, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I got everything unpacked because they individually bubble wrapped every single figure. So I'm, I am happy about that. It looks like they sort of complied with my instructions of keeping certain figures towards the center. Uh, it, the figure that matters the most looks like it is completely in the best possible condition it could possibly be in. So I don't think anything happened to it in transit. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, this is not your average running the mill toy lot too so this is going to be some pretty interesting figures we're going to look at here so i'll try to start from the least exciting at least to me i mean it's just just my preference but uh maybe you guys find these exciting more than me certain ones and we'll go into the the ones that i'm basically the ones i'm going to keep at, at the end uh, and my goal is to sell a lot of these figures and hopefully augment the cost at the very least but maybe even break even or something and then have uh, some pretty high dollar value figures in my collection. And if the time is right, at some point, maybe I could sell those in the future, you know, down the road and, and make a pr significant profit, I think, on one particular figure. So anyways, let's get into it. So the lot was 13 figures. Uh, and so first off, we're gonna go into Marvel, some Marvel superhero action figures. So this is the worst condition one. I didn't even realize, I don't know if this happened after the fact or if it was like that picture but it doesn't matter it's a figure that i don't think is honestly very valuable but we got a uh but we got a vintage 90s uh punisher uh 1991 uh this one yeah the card back is is coming off unfortunately but that's okay this is the this is the worst condition out of all of them so if that's any indicator you know these were some well taken care of figures but this is a really awesome little punisher figure though i have to say so that's figure number one. Check out the back. Then we got, I think, a 1992. Here's a death lock. Uh, looking pretty good on that one. Nice brand new vintage figure. The cards aren't perfect, but I mean, you know, they've survived this long. I mean, this is pretty good. Uh, so death lock, awesome. If I were a collector of this kind of toy line, I would really be, you know, I got to make a sacrifice. I got to sell something. So I'm going to have to sell these Marvel ones back, you know, and try to, I can't just keep every single thing. So this will be for resale. 
Really nice figure though. Then we've got uh, Spider-Man, 92. The blister on this one has a little bit of yellowing to it, but otherwise it's still pretty, pretty nice. So we got Spider-Man. Maybe some of these can go together in a lot, possibly. Maybe I was gonna put the three, the Punisher and these three together, but the Punisher's kind of in bad condition. Maybe I can still lot it up. Some of these got some retail prices still on them, $4.99. <laughs> so Spider-Man. Then we got some X-Men figures, uh, Wolverine figures. Here's a third edition Wolverine. Nice condition. Includes an official trading card. Savage Strike Twist Action. Pretty cool. Then we've got Wolverine as Weapon X. These figures are just so awesome. Fourth edition. The quality on the packaging is, is what is really, really nice on most of these. And we've got a second edition Wolverine. Looking good. Includes a trading card. Then finally, uh, we got, I think this might be the first edition Wolverine. This one I think could be worth some some significant money. The card isn't perfect. It has a little bit of a not a bend, not a crease in it or anything, but just a little. It's starting to bend a little bit. But I believe this might be a first edition Wolverine, 1991. So yeah, I'm pretty sure. Still looking pretty good condition wise. This one might be one I could make some significant a significant amount of my 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 money back. Hopefully. One thing I noticed about this Wolverine is the mask is separate so you can show his bare face. All right, here's some runner-up toys that I'm, I am gonna sell, but there's an interesting story behind these. So we have two Robin Hood Prince of Three Thieves figures and they're the same figure in title at least. They're made by Kenner, same that makes uh, a lot of great toys, uh, Aliens, uh, Star Wars of course. Uh, Kenner is one of the big toy lines from the 80s and the 90s. So the thing about these two Robin Hoods, they're both longbow Robin Hood, okay? But you've got this figure. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. His face is not Kevin Costner's face. It's just a generic face. And then you have the exact same figure, longbow Robin Hood, but the face is, the head is totally different. This is actually Kevin Costner's likeness. So what I have here is an earlier, uh, molding of of uh the same robin hood but before they uh had i guess secured the the rights to his license so they they used up those toys they had already made i guess basically is the way i would say it and then once they you know obviously to package him with that kevin costner packaging they they had to have the license but when they were manufacturing the toys i suppose they didn't have the license to kevin costner's likeness when they made this toy but they did when they made this one so here's both versions of it so i could sell those together maybe somebody might be interested in buying you know collector might want to get both versions at once so robin hood not something i'm really necessarily interested in collecting though although i mean it's still an awesome looking set of vintage figures though look at that artwork <laughs> Okay, here's a really awesome one for me. We got a vintage Kenner from the Predator, Aliens and Predator line. 1993, well, let's see. When was this one made? 1993, I think. We got the uh, Crack Tusk Predator. Packaging looking good. Uh, I would love to crack it open and put it on with all my other figures, but uh, uh, I'm gonna have to leave this one in package hanging up somewhere, maybe with the Warrior Alien, so yeah nice predator figure from the kenner aliens predator line aliens versus predator line i guess you could say really excited to get that one but that was only the teaser we got three more figures to go uh two of them are are i think the most some of the most valuable but also really interesting to me there was a toy line made by kenner again awesome toy company that I never collected or really saw anybody collect as a kid. It's from 1990 and it's Swamp Thing. Uh, and this toy line 
Boy, I missed out. Look how awesome this toy line looks. I have to keep this. I can't. I can't get rid of this. So we got. Uh, uh, which one is this? Oh, snare arm swamp thing. Okay. One thing I noticed about the toy line, there's just like a lot of the figures are just different variants of Swamp Thing. But anyways, so there's that retro packaging. It's got the $4.99 price tag on it. 1990 Swamp Thing, Snare Arm Swamp Things, still in package, nice condition. That's a really awesome figure to have. But just as cool, maybe even cooler, is a uh, camouflage Swamp Thing. So, and there's actually a very interesting story about this camouflage swan thing. Packaging is not quite as good on, on this one though. This one, I believe, is the more... No, actually, I think the snare arm one is worth quite a bit. Uh, this one, supposedly, is the holy grail of... One, a holy grail of swamp thing collectors. Because, coinc uh, this must have been a, somebody, uh, a toy collector's part of their collection. Because this swamp thing here with the paint going down on the arms and uh, down on his belly, the green part, that stripe. That's actually the more rare variant. There's a, uh, another variant of this that's more common to where his, uh, his shoulders and everything are brown instead of the, the green. Because I think this is actually, uh, this uh, you put him in cold water and it makes him change colors and stuff on that green paint. So this is actually like, I've seen videos where people call this the holy grail of swamp swamp thing collecting <laughs> and I got it on the first that was easy I got it on the first try right my first time collecting any swamp thing the card is a little bit got a little bit uh, bent a little bit but on the front it still looks really good but yeah so I've got uh, the more uncommon variant of camouflage swamp thing and I am noticing a little bit of separation there starting to happen I have to be careful with this figure but it's just awesome. Swamp Thing. The toy line I never really knew about. And it's really awesome. Okay, last but definitely not least. Uh, from the early 90s, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was on fire, right? Uh, so they were... The, the toy company Playmates also made Dick Tracy, which I am very fond of. I have almost the whole collection. Uh, had it from growing up. I also had this figure growing up, and I opened this brand new when I was a kid. Uh, they came out with a toy line that if you found this toy in a pile of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference unless you know what you're looking at. So what I have is an unopened vintage Toxie from the Toxic Crusaders line. So Toxic Crusaders was a, t a cartoon based on a movie, a very trashy, low-budget horror, very gory, just like disgustingly tasteless uh, movie called The Toxic Avenger. So for whatever reason they made the same company, Troma, decided to make a uh, kids cartoon to try to capitalize because, you know, gross out stuff was really big during that time. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and all this other stuff. Well, the same company, Playmates, that made Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles made the uh, Toxic Crusaders line and we have the the hero of the of the series Toxie and it's unopened on card and the condition of this there's a little there's a few minor issues but the condition of this is looking pretty pretty good So yeah, it's got a little story on the back of how he became Toxy whenever he got toxic waste. Yeah, and actually in this little pack here is a secret weapon. It's a glow-in-the-dark accessory. Every Toxic Crusader came with a glow-in-the-dark accessory in the secret bag. Uh, but yeah, I see carded figures like this, Toxy, sell for, uh, I mean, right around 200 bucks. The condition is pretty good. There is a little separation did happen down right on the bottom here. It's not too bad. Ultimately, this is what makes it worth it though. This is a crazy figure to see <laughs> brand new in the in the package like this. And definitely nostalgic to me because I opened the exact same very figure uh, back in the 90s as a kid. So that's it, the grand finale. A vintage, unopened, Toxic Crusaders Toxie.
I'm gonna sell back everything but the Swamp Things, the Toxic Crusader and the Predator doll. So I'm gonna see if I can uh, recoup as much of my investment it, investment as possible. All right, and here's everything laid out. Uh, most of these are in really good condition. The cards are, most of them are really good. Uh, for vintage 90s, it's pretty insane. I'm loving this Crack Tusk Predator uh, from the Kenner Aliens Predator line. And then these Kenner Swamp things are new to me, but they're really awesome, really awesome. And oh man, <laughs> that Toxie is just, I can't believe it. It almost seems too good to be true. And uh, yeah, the only one that really had the, the most damage is this Punisher that has the separation of the the card back but ultimately it's quite an impressive toy lot so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed that uh, unboxing video please like comment and subscribe and have a good one